and format a document in pages. Um, here at Lincoln Academy, we have certain rules that you need to follow in all of your classes. Um, that's pretty standard for writing classes. Um, find pages and open that up. Now, this has been opened up recently, but um, you see here that this is the last screen that was up. If you see, say for example, if it opens up inside another paper, you simply hit the document button to go out, create a new one like this, say create document. Now templates are basically pre-formatted documents. Um, you will not need to use any other template than blank for most assignments. Um, if it's a if it's a writing assignment, you're going, going to want to choose blank because then you'd have to change a lot of formatting. So tap on blank, and here you have um, a blank document. Margins in pages are automatically set to one inch, which is what you need to make sure that you have in a document. You have here at the very top, as long as you've got a cursor here, then this stuff shows up. Okay, Helvetica is the name of a font, so it looks like this. Okay, um, then this is the font size, and we've got some style um, things: bold, italics, underline, and this is alignment. Now that changes the way that you're your uh, words spread out on the page. Uh, you'll want to start with left and then we'll do center for the title and go back to the, to left for the rest of the, the uh, document. Uh, um, this button right up here we're going to use to change our spacing. Um, and There are lots of cool things in here. It op it's opened up in layout. Sometimes it opens up in style or sometimes it opens up in list depending on what was used last um, but for the purposes of our assignment uh, and most school assignments you can do that all right here in layout and, and uh, we don't need to worry about the other things because they're already um, there for you. Now, now the uh, um, font that you need to, to do on writing assignments is Times New Roman or Cambria the iPad does not have Cambria, um, and so you have to choose Times New Roman. 12-point font is also what we need to do. And um, then at the top of the page, we write our name. So I'm going to put up a um, sem um, semi-fictitious uh, name. There's actually a radio guy named Harvey Wallbanger told the rest of the story. Um, it's a nice radio show. Um, then after your name, you, you hit enter. You do your to the date. Um, I don't know of, you know, I don't think that you have to worry about how you put the date in. You can do numbers, or um, you can put it just like this. Um, except if you go this format, you need to make sure that it's formatted right. Okay. Um, third line is your teacher, and then what period you have them. So you don't need to worry about putting keyboarding or, um, or anything else like that. Okay. Then you hit return, and this is where we, we put the title. You do center, and you put your title in here. Okay, and before you even hit enter from there, tap on that um, paintbrush again and change that from one to two. It'll make you tap on that up arrow four times from one. And then you hit return, it goes down, and we change the uh, justification or the alignment to left. Okay, Every paragraph on your writing assignment should start with a, uh, an indent. And to do that, you merely tap on that cursor, which is the blinking line, 
um, hit insert now, obviously you need to make sure that you hit the right button um, and tab okay, just like on the uh, computer you hit the tab button to, to indent you do the same thing here then you start writing here and uh, make sure that it starts with a capital and then you finish your story or your paper or your um, you know whatever assignment you've been given to write okay if you have any questions let me know um, but hopefully that this hopefully this tutorial has been helpful